What's up guys, this is Sean and today we are in Eco Horizon Bandar Kasia Penang. Let's go! So previously that few episodes right, we covered the island part and this episode we try to cover this new township located in the mainland. This one is closer to the second bridge which is Batu Kawan connecting directly to Bayan Lepas. So this township is something very very interesting because it's a brand new master plan and it's heavily pushed by the state government of Penang. So now we are at the scale model just to illustrate on the location of the site. This is the second Penang bridge. That's a direct connection where you can just tee off this site and you will immediately reach the site of Eco Horizon. And you can see mainly it consists of a lot of landed properties as well as a portion of commercial properties here. So in this development, you have that Eco World signature moves, right? Where you have the roundabout, the landscape treatments, the clubhouse, which is going to be completed later. And this development is divided into several phases. You have Ashton, Bryden, Camden, and Dawson. And what we're going to check out today is Ashton because they are ready for VP. So in comparison to the mainland, I, besides the reclaimed land, everything else are all individual titled. And the main difference will be the treatments to all these public areas. You get to enjoy all these landscape treatments, you will have security guards. And before you enter the house, the treatment is the roundabout, differentiating the commercial and the residential. You have the entrance statement, when you reach your own neighbourhood, let's say Ashton, you have your own guard post. All these are very very different in comparison to the olden landed house designs. So before you enter to your house, you will have have this amazing garden. So these are areas where you can plant things that you can eat. Those are the houses and you can see this pathway that is broom finished. Then you have the expansion joints, the Eugenia's hedge and you have the perimeter fencing, CCTV. So you have timber decks as well and we'll go and check that out. So in this development, you can also enjoy waterside living. In the future, when there's fish inside, right, your kids can take the bread every morning, come here and feed during your morning walk, right? All these will be maintained by the management as well. So not only the softscape, the hardscapes are also designed as well. It's on a safer platform for kids or elderly to just walk around. And during MCO only, we start to realize the importance of common open areas like this. Because if you think about it, right, in comparison to an individual title house, you only have your boundary around your house. You cannot go anywhere really. But in this development, you can. So in this park itself, it's so big that it can accommodate activities for all ages. For the elderly, just now you have the area where you can do the exercise, right? Then for kids, you can go insane in this incredible gameplay area. And next to that will be this skate park. What I really enjoy is that peace of mind because this is a private park. It means only residents that are allowed to come here. Besides that, I really enjoy the treatment of the slope. When you design legs like this, the gradient is very important and you need to protect the edge so that you use all these rocks. Someone as a dressing, also a transition space between the water and the grass. You also have photographic opportunities and all these are there before we even checked out the house. Every road seems to be ending with a cul-de-sac and the main reason for that is actually safety. So only relevant residents who stays around that road will be turning into that road. At the perimeter of the entire development, it's all covered with landscape as well as bicycle lane or you can call it walkway. Lah. Well, this also gives space to the consultants right, to place all the necessity compliant elements. You have the fire hydrant, lah, feeder pillar lah, and all concealed using landscape. Something also take note at the edge of this development will be the highway. So what what they did is they leave a huge setback. Then you have reflexology, even handrail because some elderly may want to use it, right? And you can hear some noise of traffic already. Basically, this design is a measure to counter that noise element. Lah. Then as we really believe that no house should actually face the road directly, that forms the topology of having the central spine road across the development. Then at the end of the main road, you will have this common area again. Also, for those who are not familiar with strata housing, 
Residents must preserve the look of the house unless the JMB, which is the management body, spells otherwise. This is to preserve the uniform design of the houses. When you come into a strata development, common areas are thought through even your rubbish collection services. As the road is private, rubbish truck cannot go into the development. Hence, that's the rubbish collection centre right outside. And part of the management services would be to collect rubbish from every house to be dumped at that area. So it's really security at its best. So now we are in the central spine road right before branching out and even this road is dressed up so nicely. For safety purposes, they have this landscape buffer between the main road and the walkway. Then you even have privacy considered between the residents. In between gardens home as well, your backyard is also decorated. And I really enjoy this walking experience. Finally, now we are at one of the garden homes. This is like type 3A, 30 by 60. And the one that we're going to check out is one of the corner lots. Then you get to enjoy extra 10 feet for this land. All drainage are being concealed underground. That's good. Then you have stamping for your car porch. And they actually built this small little curb to somewhat demarcate the boundary. Lah. But the spirit of strata development, right, is to encourage community living. Then this garden home somewhat feels like a semi where you have three openings and this will be the site profile. Check it out. This is 2329 square feet and uh, when we come in the ground floor this will be the living and dining space. You have the staircase on the site and this will be the access towards the gardens area. Then you have one bedroom on the ground floor with the shared bathroom. Then you have the kitchen then the utility room for your maid. Then you have the yard space already. Upstairs, you will have three bedrooms and it's pretty straightforward. So you have the principal bedroom right at the front. First of all, at the far end will be your letterbox and your water meters. You have this 3.3 meter ceiling height car porch. So you have an apron that is covered in towels. So it's like a sense of arrival before you step into your home, right? It's also to protect the edge. Then you have these outdoor plug points when you want to wash or vacuum your car. And for safety purposes, they even cover with plastic. One comment is that I would prefer if this is a slope, maybe in the future phases, right? So even elderly on wheelchair can easily go in. Coming into the space, you will be surrounded by window panels. Without any artificial lighting, the interior spaces are just incredibly bright. What I really appreciate is the height of the plug points, which is kids friendly as well as handicap friendly. This will be your kitchen space. They provide full high wall tiles instead of your 1.5 meters one, right? It's going to be so big. And at the end, you will have a utility room on this side. Or you want to use it as a main room, also can. At the left, you will have your yard space. You have four tiles throughout the unit. You have tile skirtings. And at the joint between spaces, you will have Shanghai plaster. This will be the common shared bathroom. Again, full high wall tiles. Basin by Orin. WC is also by Orin. Okay, just that no shower screen, but I think it's fine. And next to this will be the space that I think only the corner lots would have. You can use it as a ground floor bedroom. Just that this might be a little bit too open for a private space. So I can imagine this being like a reading room at night. When you light up this space, right, this corner looks like a lantern and it's gonna look amazing next to your park. Floorings, metal handrails on the side. This is a four feet staircase, and I like this amazing height that allows the hot air to actually flow outwards. And coming up here, you will have three bedrooms, and again, the ceiling height is incredible. So now let's check out the principal bedroom. You can see this enormous facade. So this will be where you place your queen size or king size bed. But this design of bay window, it's really something else. Like. You can see that really some cushion or plants right, to make it look incredible along with this 3.6 ceiling height. And this space that I'm standing right now has a huge potential for it to be a walk-in wardrobe before you walk into your principal 
bathroom. You have your BD, your WC, by orange again. There's some black and white colors going on with full high wall towels, shower screen, shower, your little compartments to put your shampoos and all. And that will be the floor trap. But again, I really enjoy this layer of Shanghai plaster because every time when we walk out of the toilet with our wet feet, right, this layer usually get damaged and this prevents that. Going overseas will be another two bedrooms, right? Let's check out this one first. You don't have a window size that is as big, but I think the size is still very nice. Just that, why got that curb lah? But this unit also has access in terms of view to the backyard garden, which is amazing. Also enjoying his or hers very own ensuite bathroom. So it's generally a similar treatments, right? And you have the small windows for ventilation purposes. Finally, will be this center room, which is rather smaller, but at the corner, right? You still have opportunities for window as well as its very own ensuite bathroom. So all bedrooms upstairs will have their own toilet. And the scale of the bathroom is very very spacious. I can actually throw out my hand fully, along with the incredible ceiling height. Right? At the upper floor, you can really feel the scale of space. So I think that's all for the unit right and we are now at the front end of the development and this seems to be like a bonus area in accordance to the team right because this was not prepared in the drawings because it's a stratified title project they will be in need for visitor car park so these are the visitors car park and I think it's now time for Sean take 3 on 3 Three things I really like number one definitely the consistency of this particular developer as they are well known for their approach in design in place making especially you can basically throw them any piece of land and you can almost predict similar awesome designs from them from their signature roads landscape approach roundabout approach security guard approach common areas treatment right you look at the lake the bicycle lanes the perimeter fencing the security precautions up to the detailed design of the unit itself I I just truly enjoy it. Point number two, this seems to be a very different alternative in comparison to whatever the island has. So the unit that we visited just now is around a million for garden homes and for that price conventionally you can only expect a high rise in Penang Island. So the difference between landed living and high rise living right is rather distinct and only when you are able to just drive back home right to your door front, come down and walk into your house then you can just call your children out Let's go to the park right now. You can just cycle out, enjoy the common areas under that piece of my. I think in terms of value of money, it's going to be very, very interesting. Plus of all, Batu Kawan as a next big thing. So they call it like the Silicon Valley of the East because a lot of people don't know this. Penang has been very, very famous in terms of their manufacturing, semiconductors and technology focus areas, right? So now even the Penang government is setting up this focus area, this brand new master plan that has all the factories, la, cool, la, relevant infrastructures that you need as a residence. And if it's just so happened you work in Bayan La Paz or you work in these factories, right? It's a very great opportunity to be enjoying this sheer scale of space. So the three things I'm concerned of, number one would be the stigma in between mainland and island. But this applies to the true blue Penang Nights only. Like for me, third person point of view, right? It's a very interesting debate, right? Between allocating my budget here in a landed home versus an apartment in Penang Island. Number two would be the adjacent highway at the end of the development. But the fact that the developer knows it and they have taken precaution towards it. Instead of open perimeter fencing, right? They use up a solid wall that is extra high. Then they actually allocate a buffer between that fencing to the unit itself. The fact that the developer has took design precautions right I appreciate it last of all the debate between buying in the first phase of a master plan right because now I think it's still rather early but you still have another three to four more phases to go and the surrounding commercial areas right is not as established in compared to the island hence a lot of people might worry like hey, yo now wait for a while first la, wait for a while first la. so there's two school of thought one you wait so the price might appreciate because it's a rather direct comparison between the data you have in the island versus the mainland which one you want to take based on my experience in visiting Farlim, visiting Queen's Bay visiting Tanjung Tokong this is a very very different product altogether that you can only dream of having on an island at this current price so it's going to be a very very interesting debate right whether you want to uproot from your 
apartment over to this well plan master plan that also depends on your place of work are you willing to go through the new Penang Bridge 20 minutes over to Bayan Lepas I think the garden home left several units only I'll just include in the link for the latest phase I think it's phase 3 like, that starts with C right and thank you very much for the team for having me today giving me this private tour anyhow I'm very familiar with this design of landed houses lah. It's exactly like what we have in Klang Valley. So I think that's all for today. If you really like this video, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, oh, this is Hong Kong. Ciao.